Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Bliss Studio Hobbies. So, hello everyone. I know it's been quite some time since I've created a video. I've had lots going on. I am finally moved into my new home. I'm getting everything situated and I got a new family member, a nice four-legged friend. His name is Charlie. I got him when he was three and a half months old. Now he's five months old. He's so cute. I love him so much, but he is also so naughty. So let's get into this video. For this video, I'm going to go over all of the diamond paintings that I completed for the month of June and July. Yes, we are in August and <laughs> the middle of August, and I am just now getting to record the paintings I've done for June and July. But nonetheless, we are here, so let's get started. So the first diamond painting that I completed in the month of June, let me move the camera back a little bit. There we go. So the first diamond painting I completed for the month of June is The Chief from Diamond Art Club. Um, this diamond painting makes diamond painting number 87 for my total completion number. At this point, I've completed 90... Five diamond paintings for my overall completion number is 95 diamond paintings yes I have completed 95 diamond paintings this makes diamond painting number 87 that I complete but number one for the month of June it is called the chief is by Eve is it's from diamond art club it's a 32 by 32 35 colors round diamond painting look how good it turned out this is like what I call like a snack size um, it was very quick to complete. I love how it turned out. I love the lion with all of the colors. So cute. Um, I did have a couple of, not issues, but a couple of things with this canvas. So the pink, their corner arrows, Diamond Art Club uses the corner arrows in this kit. And number 24 and 26. So if you can see number 24 and 26, they're both corner arrows. So those two corners uh, were similar in color and area. So I just had to make sure I placed the correct color on the correct arrow. So that was kind of challenging. But once I like paid attention and like, oh, they're both corner arrows. They're both similar in color. Let me pay attention. It was easy to complete. And then the other thing is that the black drills in this canvas, there were a lot that were clumped together. So it was kind of annoying to get them unclumped. Um, I know that some people use the, um, uh, it's a device that you can buy that unclumps the drills very easily. I do not have one of those. I probably should get one of those with all of the gadgets I have, but um, yeah, so those were the two things. But of course um, it was good quality canvas and drills with the Diamond Art Club piece here. So here we have it. This is Diamond Painting number 88, Poppy Flower Field. Um, it is from Star Ore. The artist is Valerie Rybakow. I think that's how you say it. Um, I did an unboxing on this one on the channel. I sure did. So uh, if you have a few moments, you can check that out. This is again by Star Ore. It is a round, it's mixed drill. Mixed drill meaning that it has some rhinestones and some regular drills. I think it came out so pretty. I just love this diamond painting. There are 24 colors and it's a 47 by 35 centimeter by Star Ore. What do you guys think? I love the way this turned out. It is just so pretty. The only issue I had with this was the irregular rhinestones. But rhinestones tend to be a little more irregular than the regular drills. So once you weed through those... It's fine. It was like a really a dream to work on. I really loved working on this. I love um, how I love the mix between the rhinestones and the regular drills. I love canvases like that. Um, and it turned out pretty great. I love it. All right. The next diamond painting that I worked on is this one. This is a kit that I believe my husband bought me this one from Joanne Fabrics. So it was at Joann's. It's You're My Lobster from Friends. 
we say that to each other sometimes so mushy i know this diamond painting is a partial drill so it's just the lobster and the words that are diamond painted look how cute that turned out this was very quick to work on i actually worked on this one at work in my downtime very quick and easy to work on and it's only three colors guys three colors something simple and cute um, I did not write down um, any issues with this. It's a 32 by 40 partial, three colors, round partial drill, and I purchased it at Joanne Fabrics. This makes diamond painting number 89 for my overall total. So this one, Vintage Worlds, is, is the last diamond painting that I worked on for the month of June. So for the month of June, I worked on four diamond paintings and one special project. So this is the fourth diamond painting that I worked on. It Look, this is so pretty. I love diamond painting flowers. It's like my favorite thing. This is a 43 by 31 square diamond painting from Diamond Dots. I also purchased this one at Joanne Fabrics. It's 18 colors and I didn't have any issues with it. This is diamond painting complete number 90 look how pretty look at like the dimension because of the black background and then the pop of the pink in the flowers i love the dimension it brings and i love like the detail in the flowers i just love it so much it's so pretty it was it's a nice small size diamond painting that i was able to complete at work don't tell anyone <laughs> yeah so that was that no issues there and that's complete number 90 from diamond dots so my last completion for the month of June were these bookmarks. Have you guys seen these bookmarks? I got these bookmarks off of Amazon. Of course, everything I show today will be linked down below. But I got these off of Amazon. It comes with the diamonds, the faux leather bookmarks, and a legend. So it comes in the pack of two. Um, I don't remember how much they cost, but I will link it down below. Um, look how pretty those are. If you love to read or want to give a bookmark as a gift, these are really sturdy, good quality. Um, it was good stick. I love the little details with the mandalas in there. And it's faux leather. So it's like good quality thick bookmarks. Each one came with a blue tassel that you can connect to the end here. You just loop it through and connect. Each one came with that tassel. I did not open this because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these bookmarks yet. But this was my last complete for the month of June. What do you guys think? Has anyone, I did do an unboxing of these somewhere on the channel. Have you guys tried any of these special projects? Oh, guys, when you put this together, it makes kind of like a complete design. Didn't notice that. Have any of you tried any of these special projects in diamond painting? I just love them, especially when I need something quick to work on. Also a work completion. If you would notice over the last two months, I've been doing more diamond painting at work. I have yet to diamond paint in my new home. So um, we're going to change that up and make some things happen. But this is my last complete for June. Now we're going to move into the month of July. In the month of July, I completed four diamond paintings. Look at this one. This is the first one I completed in the month of July. It's by Cotart. It's a 50 by 40, 26 colors round diamond painting. Um, I got it from Cotart off of Amazon. I love the colors and the flowers. It looks like a piece of art that you make yourself and turn into a diamond painting. I think that's why I really like it. It's so cute. It says create at the bottom. So with this one, um, this makes diamond painting number 91 for my completions overall. There was a C and an O, the letter C and the letter um, O. They are similar colors and in the same area. So it's kind of hard for me to distinguish between the two. Let me see if I can show you guys the legend here. So the O and the C, similar colors and similar areas. So it's kind of hard for me to distinguish between the two. And also portions of this canvas was not that sticky. Now, if you were here for my unboxing of this canvas, this part was crunched up a bit in the kit. I did flatten it and it's it's fine, but some areas of the glue weren't as sticky as they should have been. Once you get your um, drills on there and you know work the canvas, it's not an issue, but that was a problem for me and it was kind of 
annoying but the end uh, uh product is fine this is a budget friendly canvas that i will link down below i will still recommend it with the issues that i had no no other issues with this canvas and it's super cute Ooh, the next canvas is lion from star or this is a full rhinestone canvas it's a 44 by 34 centimeter canvas, 20 colors, all crystal rhinestones, and it's that lion. Now, I love lions, and this one was really um, fun to work on. Actually, the fabric size is 44 by 35, but the drill size is a 40 by 30. So Star Ore does give you the drill size and the whole canvas size. I like that. But yeah, the only thing is that, um, of course, rhinestones tend to be a little more irregular. So you have a little more trash than with other kits, but they still give you plenty to work the canvas. So, you know, that's typically not, not an issue to complete your canvas. But yeah, I like this. Have any of you guys tried the crystal, full crystals or partial crystal kits? I have been loving these and I like this canvas because it's another one that I completed at work and it was you know, simple and fun to work on. So there you have it. Overall, that's Diamond Penny number 92. Alrighty. The next one, Sunset Reflections by Diamond Art Club. This is a 32 by 40, 38 color square diamond painting. Now, I have round diamond paintings and I have square diamond paintings. And I used to prefer round, not because anything with the squares but I really found my love for squares with this painting I love the detail the drills were just good quality and that's another reason why I've had trouble with squares because of like the quality factors with the squares but this was good quality I had no issues with this kit I really enjoyed it it's a diamond art club did I tell you 38 colors of 32 by 40 and I just love the way it turned out. Look how pretty it is. Sunset Reflections. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. And I think I think the square, the fact that it was squared, really did it some justice. I noticed that if you want more detail in a diamond painting, the squares are the way to go. But I still love rounds. I love rounds and squares. And I will continue to buy both. And there you have it, overall diamond painting number 93, Sunset Reflections. So my last diamond painting for the month of July, number four, overall number 94, is this cutie here. King Charles and Books. How cute is this partial diamond painting from Diamond Art Club? I just love it. I love reading, love books. I love little puppies, little dogs, and he has on the glasses. How cute is this diamond painting? Um, the artist is Marilyn Casanave. I think that's how you say the name, not sure. Hopefully I told you the artist of the other kids. I realize that I forget to do that sometimes. I don't think I did, but if I did not, I will put the artist for each kit on the screen because they such beautiful artwork. They need to be shout out as well as the company for the diamond painting. So this diamond painting is a 43 by 43 square diamond painting partial. So the border is not diamond painting. It's just the puppy, the books, and the pen here. Um, it had 20 colors. And I just, I did this one at work as well. And I just think this puppy is super cute. Yeah, so that is is all the kits that I completed in the month of June and July. I will do a quick recap.
All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. If you love diamond painting, crafting, and all things hobbies, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with a friend. Until next time, bye bye